Good morning. <laughs> it is day 22. 22 of Vlogmas. And uh, I woke up earlier than I probably should have on my first day of holiday. Uh, it's 8.30 now, but we've been up for a little while. Um, we've already checked on Buckbeak, and some of you have already guessed his name, which is awesome, but at the end of this vlog, maybe at the beginning of next vlog, I'll give you guys 24 hours with that video, and then I'll make a list of awesome people who understood his name. Yes. <laughs> uh, so Joe is uh, starting playing The Sims again, and he's actually going to try to make me, and I'm going to try to make him, so that should be fun. Uh, I have my Enkai tonight, which I'm very excited about, and now I'm going to go back to being a lazy bum. Yeah. It's after 10. I'm totally slacking. My morning routine got all messed up from being off work today. Totally forgot to check my blood pressure this morning. 107. This is the type of Japanese mop that they use in the schools. Um, you just take a rag and kind of clip it in place like that and you use it. It is single directional. Yeah, we're still getting the hang of using it. First time. If you don't do it right, it scrapes up your floor, apparently. <laughs> just talking to Buckbeak. Uh, so all day we've just been watching YouTube. I've been editing a little bit. Uh, today was a little bit of a rough day, like side effects of medication wise. Um, and I'm also really nervous because tomorrow we're going to do a second attempt to get off this medication. Um, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we are now heading to take Buckbeak back to the vet and have him get checked out again. And uh, then we are potentially heading back here and then my NCAT tonight, yay! So we're sitting here, we're on our way to the vet and we keep hearing noise coming from uh, Buckbeak's box. And I'm taking that as a really positive sign. I hope that he's like, just trying to fly, just getting ready to fly. I hope when we get to the vet, and the vet opens the box to take him to examine him, he just flies all around the room. And then it's the vet's problem to catch him, and then we can release him. <laughs> that would be the ideal scenario here. Um, but yeah, he uh, has been really active, and we gave him a pretty big bowl of sugar water. So when we opened the box to check on him this morning, he was sitting on the edge of it, and he seemed to really like having a perch, obviously, instead of being on the ground, because birds are not supposed to be on the ground. Um, so, I'm really crossing my fingers, I'm trying to be like really optimistic here. This is a wild bird, he belongs in the wild. I want this bird back in the wild and happy. I like happy birds. <laughs> this is our amazing animal hospital. If you live in Okayama, I highly recommend it. They are wonderful people. Okay, uh, leaving the vet's office now. He has way more energy. Buckbeak is full of energy, which is great. He was chirping his annoyance with the vet, which is a great sign. Um, they said probably two more days. They want us to wait, um, let him rest more, make sure that he 100% has his energy up um, before we release him. And uh, he's not a juvenile or anything. He is an adult. He is just completely exhausted. Um, like I said originally, we have no idea how long he was flapping in the water for. He, he wore himself out and 
there's nothing physically wrong with his wing, like no, none of the bones are broken, but I mean, if he's that exhausted, it could be really sore to the point that he can't fly or something, I don't know. <sighs> but I feel much better um, that they, they had big smiles on their face when they saw how much energy he had today, and they think that Monday we will attempt to release him on Monday, and hopefully it goes well. I really hope it goes well. If not, then we're back to the vet. <laughs> but, so, we still have a bird this weekend. Yeah. I should do this. I should do this. It's fine, having a bird. I just feel bad with him in that little box. I wish that, you know, if we were in another country where we had more friends, you know, maybe somebody would have, like, a cage or something that we could use, but that's okay. And I just double-checked, and uh, Monday, the day that they want us to release him, is Christmas, so that would be a really nice way to spend Christmas. We'll wake up really nice and early, and hopefully he will fly to his beautiful freedom. Um, if not, then we have to come to the vet, and that's not the nicest way to spend Christmas, but um, yeah, Christmas Day. That, that should be really nice. Cross your fingers for us. All right, so we also can do this, which is amazing. That's horrifying. But it helps. Does it? It doesn't not help. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, I can do this! Mm. It's like growing up. Mm. Mm. Wait, I need to take these clothes off. Not for that reason, shut <laughs> up. Hey, home from the Enkai. It turns out that I was underdressed. <laughs> I kind of felt really embarrassed. Joe has been to two Enkais already. My friends have been to Enkais and all of them were like, yeah, it's pretty casual and that's fine. So you're fine with jeans and just a nicer top. So I'm like, okay. So that's what I wore. So many women were like in dresses or skirts and I had pearls and really nice sweaters with like glitter, like <sighs> dressed really nice. They all looked beautiful. One woman was in a kimono. It was amazing. And I was there in jeans. <sighs> what a mistake. It didn't say on the invitation what type of dress you're supposed to wear. Now I know for next time. But oh. Anyway, it was awesome. Um a lot of people sang karaoke and did dances, and I saw people smiling that I'd never seen smile before. <laughs> um, so they all had a lot of fun, and it was really nice. Um, oh, there's a bale. Hi! What you doing? So, um... Eleanor senses my stress as she comes a purring. Um, but yeah, besides the dress thing, uh, great food, great people. It was really fun. They kept filling up my glass of beer. Um, I tried only having one glass of wine, but that didn't work out. Penny's playing soccer in the other room. She's so cute. I have a bear pressing her face up against my face. We played bingo, and uh, I won a pillow very nice. Um, like a cushion that you put on a chair, like that kind of a pillow. Now, as you can see, I'm in my pajamas, trying to get cozy. Uh, it's the end of the night now. Oh. And yeah, I think I think that's going to be it for tonight. I'm going to call it a day. Uh, so I will see you guys tomorrow, because, wait, what time is it? Yeah, it's after 10 o'clock, so I'm going to call it a day, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! By the time I finished editing yesterday's video, everybody's already asleep. Oh, good night, Bill. I'm sorry I woke you, baby. Benny's asleep too. Good night, baby. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Ooh, that looks like a cool video. You should totally watch that. Click 
that like button.